Now, if you're in a relationship, you're in a marriage, you need to know these things, you know, because it's going to help elevate and solidify your relationship. All right, the first one is when you maintain a natural look. If you didn't know, men love it when they see you in your natural element. When you wake up in the morning, you look so natural, your hair is all over the place. They love that natural look. Look at people like Eve, even the Bible. The Bible says that when she was created, Adam looked at her and he actually fell in love with her because she had a natural look. Let's read the book of Genesis 2 verse 23 and it says, At last, this is Adam exclaiming, She is part of my own flesh and my bone. She will be called woman because she was taken out of a man. Now Esther, Esther had someone called Haggai and Haggai gave her oils that she was applying on herself. The day that the king saw this girl, automatically favor fell upon her because she had a very natural look number two when women call men by their names ah when a girl says hi sam hey just the fact that you mentioned my name that by itself makes me feel like i'm important so men like it when you use their names you see even jesus when he was calling the disciples he used to call them with their names peter andrew come let me make you fishers of men even samuel the prophet samuel Samuel, ah, I tell you, call people by their name. You'll be shocked at how that changes things. Number three, when women wear the clothes of men. Ah, my friend. You see, women like sharing these things. Like it's a cold afternoon and she'll come and pick your jacket and wear it. That excites the men. Or let's say you go to a hotel and she wants to eat your food. She has her own food, her own full plate, but she wants to taste your food. Anytime women do that, it excites the heart of a man. The Bible says in Luke 3 verse 10, What should we do then? The crowd asked. Then John answered, Anyone who has two shirts should share with the one who has none. And anyone who has food should do the same thing. Number four, a woman who is always laughing. My friend, even if the joke that the guy is giving you are not funny, just laugh. The act that you're always jovial, you're always joyful, that excites the men. Now look at Proverbs 31 verse 25. This is the Proverbs 31 woman, the virtuous woman. This is what she does. In verse 25, Bible says that she is clothed with strength and dignity and she laughs with no fear of the future. Psalms 24, Psalms 2 verse 4, Bible says, but the one who rules in heaven laughs. This is God. God also laughs. He enjoys laughing. Psalms 30 verse 11, you have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy. Number five, when a woman is always helping a man, let me tell you something, those little things that you help a man, they excite them. Okay, let's say he has a suit, his tie is on the, is not well positioned, and you come and try and fix it, and you come and wipe him out, you know, fix his hair. We, men love that. Men are excited when you're helping them out. They feel like, wow, yeah, this is good. The Bible says in Proverbs 31 verse 12, this is a Proverbs 31 woman again. She will not hinder him, but help him all her life. Read the book of Genesis 2 verse 18. This is even Adam. And the Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a companion who will help him. Number six, when a woman is playing around with fashion. You see, sometimes girls will shock us. They will surprise us. One day she has this hairstyle. The next day she has this outfit. The next day she, she has a weird, interesting look. By the way, those things excite men. Men like it when, you know, men are visual. So they like it when there's a diversity of things to see, different looks. So invest in looking really nice. Look at what Naomi was advising Ruth so as to get Boaz. The book of... Uh, in the book of uh, Ruth, uh, chapter 3, verse 3, the Bible says, Now do as I tell you. Take a bath and put on perfume and dress in your nicest clothes. Then go to the threshing floor, but don't let Boaz see you until he has finished his meal. This is Ruth advi being advised by Naomi how to actually get the attention of Boaz. Looking nice, excited people. Yes, this is your husband, you're married, but listen, keep changing, you know. He wants to see something different. He doesn't want, doesn't want to feel like he's uh, in prison, you know. Keep looking nice. Number seven, number seven, women that maintain sexual purity. 
By the way, sexual purity is not just about abstinence, it's also about faithfulness.